Spray foam insulation was applied last week. What comes next is drywall. So they've covered basically the walls and the ceiling with drywall. They've screwed it in. Uh, they've mudded over the screw holes and then they've added tape and they've mudded over that. They've added metal to the corners and mudded over it. The metal makes the corners sharp and it keeps its shape if you bang into it. They use the same metal to shape um, the doorway that we wanted preserved. There was metal there before and, and now they've replaced it on this side as well. To notice about the drywall is where the seams are, how they've laid it out and the sheer number of screws that they have put in to hold up the drywall. I mentioned this to Danny and he said, you can never be too safe. So let's get into the details. Uh, when the day started, they had the pipe for the vent um, about halfway. They finished it off and add a stub for the range hood. That's the electrical for the range hood. As well, they added a big piece of plywood here so that they could anchor the range hood when it's time to install that. Um, notice the direction where the drywall is laid and where the seams are. So you can see a seam here and a seam over there. So they're not exactly square with each other. It makes the installation a little bit easier, but also it makes it um, stronger so you don't have a, a single failure point when you have, for example, four pieces of drywall meeting. I'll show you here how many screws that they use in one place. Here's one four by eight sheet of drywall. Here's another four by eight sheet of drywall. I asked Danny why he was running his drywall with the long dimension horizontally. And he said that he preferred to do it this way in residential settings, but he'll do it vertically in a commercial setting. What he liked about this is that it gives him seven anchor points um, given where the studs lie. So he's got a set of screws here, one. Here's another one where the stud is, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he's got seven points and on each of these points he's got one set of screws. He One, two, three, four. So four screws to hold up this piece of drywall and he's got an extra piece at the bottom to make up the height. They've scribed around the electrical nicely as well as the doorways and this window. They've left some room for a trim later. They haven't made any holes in the ceiling for the pot lights, although they've made marks for where they're going to go. I want to show you how closely they've cut around the boxes and made the pieces of drywall come together at the joins. This is one of the bigger joins. So there's a good amount of uh, mud or a compound in there. That's it for today. You'll have to watch the next episode to find out what's next, but I suspect there'll be some mudding in the future.